Hello friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to send PHP form data using JavaScript without refreshing of web page. Under this video tutorial, we will demonstrate you how can we send AJAX request with pure JavaScript code without using jQuery library. So here we will implement AJAX post request with JavaScript and save and insert form data in MySQL database using PHP script. In this tutorial, we will submit HTML form data to PHP script by using JavaScript with the help of AJAX post request. Now let's start discussing this topic. So this is testing database and here we have one data sample table with six table column like ID, name, email website, comment and gender. Under this table, we will store HTML form data using PHP script with help of JavaScript and AJAX post request. This is our working directory and here we have two file, one is index.html and other one is processdata.php. In HTML file, we will HTML form and JavaScript code and in processdata.php file, we will write PHP script for insert data into database. First we have open index.html file, and under this file, we have only included bootstrap for CSS library link only, and here we have not include jQuery library link, because here we will use pure JavaScript for process form data. Now we have go to HTML code part, and here first we have create one span tag with id is equal to message. Under this tag, we will display success message. Below this, we have create one form with id is equal to sample form. Under this form, for get name details, here we have create one input type is equal to text, name is equal to name, class is equal to form control and form data. Same way for get email data, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to email and class is equal to form control and form data. Next for get website details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to website, and class is equal to form control and form data. After this, for store comment data, here we have write text area field, with name is equal to comment, rows is equal to 5, columns is equal to 40, and class is equal to form control and form data. And lastly for store gender data, here we have write select tag, with name is equal to gender, and class is equal to form control and form data. Under this select box, we have create two option tag, with option text like male and female, so user can select gender from this two option. Next for submit form data, here we have create one button tag, with type is equal to button, name is equal to submit, and in button text we have write save. Now we have go to javascript code part, and here we have create on function save data.
Under this function, we have write form element variable is equal to document dot get elements by class name function, and under this, we have write form data class name. So this method returns a collection of all form elements in the document with the specified class name. Below this, we have write form data variable is equal to new form data object. So under this form data object, we will store form data in keys and values format. Next, we have write for loop, and under condition, we have write count variable is equal to zero. Count variable value is less than the value of form element dot length, and count variable value increment by one. Under this loop, for store data in form data object, here we have write form data dot append method. This method will insert a set of node object. And for store form key name, here we have write form element with count index dot name, so it will store form field name in key. And for store field value, we have write form element with count index dot value. So on every loop. It will store form data under this form data object. When we have click on submit button, then we want to disable submit button. So for disable submit button in JavaScript, here we have write document dot get element by ID method, and under this, we have write button ID submit, and then after we have write disabled property set to true, so it will disable submit button. Now we want to send AJAX request in pure JavaScript. So for this, we have write AJAX request variable is equal to new XML HTTP request object. This objects are used to interact with servers, and it is heavily used in AJAX programming. Below this, we have write AJAX request dot open method with two argument. In first argument, we have write post method name. And in second argument, we have write process data dot php URL. So here open method will send post data request to process data dot php URL. Next, we have write ajax request dot send method. And under this, we have write form data variable. So this send method will send request to server with data. Below this. We have write AJAX request variable dot on ready state change is equal to callback function. So whenever any event has been triggered, then ready state attribute changes, and this callback function is called. Under this function, we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write AJAX variable dot ready state variable value is equal to four. And AJAX request variable dot status variable value is equal to 200. If this both condition true, that means server request process finished, and it will receive data from server, and it will execute if block of code. If AJAX request completed, then first we want to enable submit button. So here we have write document dot get element by ID method, and under this, we have write button ID. With disabled property value set to false, so this code will enable submit button. Next, we want to reset form. So here we have write document dot get element by ID method, and under this, we have write form ID sample form, and then after we have write reset method, so it will reset all form field value. After this. We want to display success message on web page. So here we have write document dot get element by ID method, and under this we have write span tag with ID message, and then after we have write in the HTML property is equal to AJAX request dot response text. So here in JavaScript, successfully AJAX request data has been received from this response text variable. And this will display success message under the span tag with ID message. After some time, we want to automatically remove success message. So for this, 
Here we have write set timeout callback function, with interval of 2000 millisecond, so after 2 second this, function will be called. Under this function, we have write document dot get element by id method, and under this, we have write span tag id message, with inner html property value set to blank, so it will hide success message from web page. So here our function is ready, now we want to call this function, when we have click on submit button, so for this, here in button code, we have write on click attribute is equal to save data function, with return false statement, so when we have click on submit button, then it will call save data function, which will send ajax request for send form data to server. So here our HTML and JavaScript code is ready, now we have go to process data.php file, and here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write is set function, with dollar post name variable, if this variable value is set, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, first we want to make database connection, so here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new do class with three object like mysql host set to local host database name set to testing user name set to root and password set to blank value then after below this we have write data variable is equal to array In first key, we have write double colon name, and in value, we have write dollar post name variable. In second key, we have write double colon email, and in value, we have write dollar post email variable. In third key, we have write double colon website, and in value, we have write dollar post website variable. In fourth key, we have write double colon comment, and in value, we have write dollar post comment variable. And in last key, we have write double colon gender, and in value, we have write dollar post gender variable. So this way, we have store form data under this dollar data variable. Below this, we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into data sample table with table column like name, email, website, comment, gender with values get from double colon name, email, website, comment and gender. So this query will insert data into data sample data. After this insert query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable so it will make query for execution now we want to execute query so here we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this we have write dollar data variable this method will execute above query and insert data into mysql database Lastly, we want to send data to Ajax request, so here we have write echo statement, with data saved message, so this data will send to Ajax request, which will be display on web page. So here our code is ready, now we have check output in browser. Friends here we can see that, when page has been load in browser, then we can see that sample form has been load with field like name, email, website, comment, gender and one submit button. First we have fill, form data one by one. After fill all form data, we have click on save button, so when we have save button, 
Save button has been disabled, and after successfully submit form data it has been enabled again. And above we have seen success message, and after some time success message has been automatically removed. Now here in MYSQL table, here we can see that newly inserted data, so here we have insert data into database by using pure JavaScript, with PHP script. And here also, we have disable and enable submit button by using JavaScript, and here also by using JavaScript, we have display and hide success message also. And by using JavaScript, we have send form data to server, and at server side, by using PHP script, we have insert form data into MYSQL database. So here we have submit form data, without refresh of web page, by using JavaScript. In next part, we will discuss, how to validate form data PHP script, and display validation error message using JavaScript. Lastly, if you have any query or inputs regarding this tutorial, you can ask your query in comment box, if you have liked this video, please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also, and lastly don't forget to subscribe our channel for future video tutorial.